showered a whole bit. I'm missing my mom tonight. One thing I love about my mom and my dad is the way how she raised me. We didn't have behind closed doors conversations about other races of people and calling them ugly names. She didn't tell me that as a black woman I was going to be mistreated at the hospital. She didn't tell me as a black woman that I was going to be harassed by the police department. We didn't have those conversations. We had conversations of equality and love. I love her for that. When it was time for me to be in school and I had to be corrected by other races of people in my childlike nature, needing to be disciplined, needing to be corrected. I was able to receive that correction productively. Sit down, Rhonda. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't let me say it again. I've said it several times. Don't do it again. I was able to receive that correction because my parents weren't bigots. They weren't racist toward other races of people behind closed doors. I, I can remember once my mom had to go to school for me and it was a teacher and she was not the race as me and she accused me of cheating because I kept getting hundreds. And I, they found out that I had a 12th grade reading level in the third grade, and she accused me of cheating. That's when I remember my mother going to school for me, to fight for me. But it was never a conversation about the teacher or what she did when we got home. She kept that away from me. And she kept that away from me because I had to go back to that school tomorrow, the next day, and listen to that teacher, how miserable it would have been for me, for my mom and my dad to talk about her in a negative light, talk about her race as a monolith, and then I go back to school and have to listen to her. That would have made my life in school miserable. Parents, when you are behind closed doors and you have ugly names for races that's not yours and you speak these things in front of your baby, it hinders them and it makes their life and school miserable because they, not, they can't receive the correction that they need to receive because you have told them that that race is beneath you, that that race is the boogeyman, that that race will never strive to be this or that. And when your baby goes to public school and has to receive correction from the very people that you talk about in a bigot fashion behind closed doors, you're hurting your baby. They're innocent and they're ready to love and they're ready to receive instruction. But you hinder that when you talk about in an ill fashion other races behind closed doors. When you send your child to school and the teachers are ready to show love to your baby equally and they're taken aback. They don't know how to show it back because mommy just talked about you last night. Daddy just talked about you last night. What is this love you're showing me? What is this? You confuse your baby and you make it hard for them in society. When you do this behind closed doors, parents, and your children must receive correction from teachers, staff of other races, they crumble at the littlest, simplest of direction. Don't do that. Stop doing that. They cry. 
They crumble. They break down. I don't blame the children for this. I blame the parents. I hope that this falls on the right ears.